Hey y'all, it's Cindy Toucher with Around the Town in the South. And I am at the most beautiful place today. And, and we finally have a beautiful, bright, sunny day. And it's too bright to turn the camera around <laughs> to see it. You couldn't see us anymore once we did that. So, so we've got the pretty door behind us. But we are at Hope Hollow Ministries. And I'm with Owen Mullen, who is the executive director for Hope Hollow. And Owen, tell us a little bit about what Hope Hollow does. Hope Hollow is a nonprofit organization uh -huh. uh, that serves people with special needs. Um, we serve ages uh, five on up through adulthood, but our camps basically serve five through 21. So, so children all the way up to young adult. That's right. And you have the camps. Are the camps, they're day camps? They are day camps. Um, they are, they'll come here and be with us from 8 till 3, Monday okay. through Friday. And what do you do with the camps, with the campers? Oh, goodness. Um, we paint, we craft, we water play, um, and all of our campers are paired with a buddy. Uh, a buddy is a volunteer who's here to kind of walk them through everything and just help them as little as they need to, but as much as they can. Um, and just helps them stay engaged and uh, it's just their friend while they're here with us. So, so, so you were telling me, I know some of the things you were telling me earlier, they do some art projects and you're doing the, they're, they've got these beautiful um, raised beds that you're gonna be growing vegetables. Yes, and... yes, we have um, a great uh, board that has, um, all of our members are very involved and one of our board members has kind of taken charge of the garden beds and we have two gentlemen that are helping us um, just get everything together for that and help walk us through it because I myself have no green thumb <laughs> at all. Yeah, yeah, we would have some dead plants out there uh, for helping. That would be me, we will. So, you, do you, um, are you needing more volunteers for summer camps this summer? Always, yes. Um, we do, we have gotten a couple of groups uh, set up to come uh, stay with us and volunteer for the weeks but um, we always need more because we try to have a one-to-one -one ratio and plus speaking of volunteers you were speaking earlier about there's some beautiful benches and rocking chairs everything's so colorful out here it's beautiful but they're painted and so you have volunteers that come and do that if you don't feel like you're good working one-on-one -on -one with a special needs child that's something else you that is correct. We have um, lots of local businesses um, we are so fortunate to have. They have work days where they come out and serve somehow in the community and um, we are grateful that they have chosen to serve with us this year. Uh, Southern Farm uh, Bureau Life Insurance came out and painted our picnic tables and benches and uh, just really helped us spruce things up to get ready for our summer camp. Well, that's neat. So, okay, you have your camp starting in June third. June third, and 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 I and I saw on the website you've got it listed the different camps. But are they filled yet, or do you still have some openings? There are some openings in every week, but not very many in every week. Some weeks we've got lots of wiggle room, but in others we mm -hmm. just have a few spots left. So, if you know somebody who may would benefit from this type of camp definitely you know look into it and see you know what if there's a week that might work and um and, and as always a nonprofit you're you're funded I'm sure by contributions that's right and um so anybody who is you know looking for somewhere to, to contribute if you're getting your tax if you're getting tax money back that's right number one I'm jealous <laughs> number, two, <laughs> number two this is a good thing to do with it but um but also you've got an event coming up do you, do you have a lot of events or is there just a we do you? but this is one of our biggest events that we do okay. annually it's called boots and barbecue uh, this year Tay's barbecue will be um, preparing the meat for us um, McAllister's is providing the tea and cookies um, and we just come out, we box it all up if you want to take it and go with you. Tickets are ten dollars, um, unless you have a family of five or more, and then you won't pay more than fifty dollars per ticket. Um, That's nice. I'm yeah. sorry, for your whole family, not yeah, for ticket. the family, yeah. yeah. 
Um, <laughs> and if you don't have time to stay and join us, it's from four to seven. You can always pick up your food anytime during those hours mm -hmm. and take it home and enjoy it there. Um, but we hope you'll come out and, and be here with us. We'll have some live music and a bounce house and face painting oh, and all kinds fun. of fun stuff. So for going the whole on. family, that's yeah. right. And it's April 27th. April 27th. Yes. From four to seven. That's right. And I'm going to have more information on that. I'm going to share the event on the Around the Town events page, that um, group page that we have, so that people know about it. But if you're free on the 27th, that would be a great, you know, hey, no cooking. I like that. <laughs> and you can enter our $5 raffle for a 27-inch iMac desktop computer. Oh, wow. That That's winner will be announced on the 27th at Boots and Barbecue, but you do not have to be present to win. So you could buy those tickets um, for the raffle even That's right. if you're not coming. That's right. That's good to know. Well, cool. Well, I, I, you know, appreciate so much people who have a heart for this type of ministry and and doing this because you also teach kindergarten in the morning right now i'm an assistant at uh -huh. mra kindergarten <laughs> yes and then come out here in the afternoons but you're going to be going full-time into the that's right in so mm -hmm. yeah so that's good and uh, they're very lucky to have you and oh, you. um and your staff but i really encourage you to go to this event and just you know check out their website they also have have a facebook page too check that out too and just see what all they're doing. I'm sure that throughout the summer, you'll probably have more and more pictures come up of the camps and the campers and what all the activities you're doing. And I'm gonna tell you the grounds they have here. How many acres is this? We're about 22 acres, give or take. It is absolutely beautiful out here. And we're just, is this is this Canton or Gluckstadt? It is Canton. Canton. Yes. You feel like you've really gone out somewhere you, you would never guess that you were just right outside the city limits yeah. like it's beautiful out here and I know the campers must absolutely enjoy this being out here every day so thank you so much for you know thank you for coming and yeah, helping us get it's, our name out there and, and more people aware of us well I'm, I'm so happy to be here and tell everybody about this and I just love learning more and more about what we have just right here under our noses in Mississippi that is so helpful to so many people. I want to thank our sponsors for letting us do this and come find things like this to share with you. First sponsor today is Huntcliffe Veterinary Clinic. Um, they're in Clinton, Mississippi. That's the um, the vet that I use for my um, my little four-legged friends. I've got two dogs and two cats that they take very good care of there, Dr. Walker and Dr. Stripling. Dr. Walker used to be the zoo vet and he has the funniest stories <laughs> oh, so i actually interviewed him not too long ago you can go back and watch but yeah he's got some funny zoo stories but we love going to hunt club veterinary clinic also odom's eye care in um, jackson off of old canton road they are the oldest eye care in jackson mississippi it's like 72 years wow. so they must be doing something right if they've stayed <laughs> if they've stayed you know um, going for that long and that's where um, I actually go to the eye doctor there too. I, I love I love promoting people that I use because I can tell you firsthand that they're great and I love going to the eye doctor there. They take good care of me and also Pure Air Consultants. Pure Air Consultants, I don't know if you didn't see it, go back and look. I did a video with them a couple of weeks ago. They are going to be giving away an air condition system to an, a family in need. <laughs> So if you, um, if you want to go to their Facebook page or their website, the deadline for the entry is April 30th. If you know somebody in need of an air condition system, you need to um, submit them in and they're gonna you know, decide on who to give that to. But gosh, how nice, because it is miserable in Mississippi if you don't have a working air conditioner. <laughs> so Pure Air Consultants. Um, look them up. I've got all of their information above. I want to thank you for letting me come here and share with y'all about um, Hope Hollow Ministries and the camps. And I know that y'all are getting ready for a lot of fun to be had this summer here. Yes. And thanks for joining us. Share this video, follow us, and we'll be seeing you around the town. <laughs>